Welcome to the Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. It's been a bit over a week since the recent balance changes and the meta is finally beginning to settle. There have not been many new decks that have shown up since the last snapshot, but the overall power level of decks has changed. It's becoming more clear what decks are the top dogs, and in this breakdown, we'll reveal how they got there and how to beat them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Tempo Storm news and Hearthstone content. Now let's take a look at the best decks in the current metagame. Tier 1 remains very thin, with only two decks being strong enough to be called the top decks. Both of these decks are refined from the previous meta, and are only switching cards in favor of tech choices. They remain powerful enough to draw a clear line between the Tier 1 and Tier 2 decks. Midrange Hunter is still clearly the best deck in the game, and it will remain so unless a new archetype can dethrone it. Its ability to win from almost any game state is unmatched. The deck is extremely versatile and has several win conditions, which is uncommon for most decks. It remains the best Hunter archetype and is even favored against the other Hunter decks. The meta has shaped around the rise of Hunter, with many decks teching against it in order to have a better chance on the ladder. Midrange Hunter preys on combo decks such as Quest Rogue and Resurrect OTK Priest, both of which have found considerable popularity in the post-patch ladder. The worst matchups for Midrange Hunter are Odd Mage decks. Both Odd Aggro Mage and Odd Control Mage are very difficult for the Hunter for two reasons. One, the Odd Mage can remove the Hunter's low health early game without spending cards, and two, they're effective removal spells. Midrange Hunter has many more favorable matchups than bad ones, and will continue to hold control of the meta for the foreseeable future. The only other deck in Tier 1 this week is Even Warlock. Previously, this deck found itself in Tier 2, but as the meta settled, the deck only got better. Even Warlock is underrepresented in the ladder currently, but that doesn't have anything to do with its power level. Its lack of appearance is due to players undervaluing the deck's position in the meta. The deck lost many of its worst matchups with balance changes, resulting in Even Warlock finding better performance. In fact, Even Warlock excels in matchups where its opponent can't deal with either large early threats or several removal spells. Decks like Miracle Druid and Zoo Warlock are prime examples of this. In terms of bad matchups, even Warlock does fairly well against most of the meta. Even its unfavorables can't guarantee a win against even Warlock. That being said, Control Priest is one of the worst matchups for even Warlock, as they have answers to all your threats while being able to apply their own pressure. There are less new decks popping up now that the meta is settling. Most of the decks that show up on the tier list are just updated versions of older lists. There is, however, one new deck that is starting to show up in the latter, Wall Priest. Wall Priest is a new take on Combo Priest, relying on high health minions with Divine Spirit and Inner Fire in order to burst your opponent down from high health totals. What separates this form of Combo Priest from the traditional variant is that it runs Master Oak Heart in order to pull out large minions. Due to this, the deck can't run Radiant Elemental, significantly hurting its chances to combo early, but allowing it to have larger swing turns. With less aggro decks in the meta, Wall Priest is situated to do well enough to rise to tier 2, and will likely hold that spot in the tier list for the foreseeable future. Tier 2 still has a lot of decks in it, leaving it much more populated than the first tier. The decks here are all really good and share a similar power level. The order of this tier is mostly due to how well the decks line up against each other, as well as how they do against the first tier. Resurrect Priest is the top deck in Tier 2, falling from its spot as the second best deck in the game. Make no mistake, the deck is still incredibly good, but as decks teched more against Priest, it became slightly worse. Resurrect OTK Priest has a lot of polarized matchups in which it has either immensely favored or struggles hard to find a win. Against slower mid-range decks such as Death Rattle Hunter, the Priest can easily clear the board repeatedly while assembling their own combo. Against extremely fast decks like Odd Aggro Mage, the Priest is constantly on the back foot trying to find time to stabilize. To the surprise of many players, Malagos Druid finds itself next up on the list. Many assume this archetype would be dead with the nerf to Druid cards at the end of last year. Once again, Malfurion finds a way to stay relevant. Malagos Druid does very well against decks that struggle with the near endless supply of removal that Druid has. Both forms of Odd Mage struggle to deal enough damage early to kill the Druid, and then will succumb to Malagos Druid's burst damage. Just like before, Malagos Druid's worst matchup comes from Death Rattle Hunter. The Hunter can apply an absurd amount of pressure using minions such as Devilsaur Egg and Katharina Winterwisp. Death Rattle Hunter might have fizzled out previously, but the deck hasn't really lost anything aside from Hunter's Mark. Its ability to cheat out large minions consistently makes it a deck that can find wins in almost any matchup. Its best matchups come from decks that can't apply pressure or struggle to deal with the Hunter's threats. 
On the flip side, the Hunter relies on its opponent not having frequent removal spells or being faster at applying pressure. Any slow form of Priest can take advantage of Death Rattle Hunter's slow but gradual buildup of pressure with its wide range of removal tools. The meta revolves more around countering Hunter than beating the majority of decks. Hunter makes up a huge portion of the ladder, which should be your main target. As mentioned before, Odd Mage decks excel against Hunter, and thus should be your first choice. If you're looking for a different deck to try, Rush Warrior is one that's situated well against the meta. The archetype has been modified extensively by players for a while now, but Rush Warrior hasn't found much success until now. Many players were playing the deck at high ranks, proving that it's more than just a fun deck. It does very well against aggro and is one of the best decks against Hunter. Rush Warrior also has the added benefit of players assuming you're playing a form of Control Warrior, which leaves them a chance to mess up their mulligan. In conclusion, the meta is constantly developing, but is slowly reaching a point of refinement. It's clear that Midrange Hunter is the big winner during the balance changes, dodging the nerf hammer and allowing it to keep on top. The other decks are battling for second, and it's unclear who will rightfully take the title. For now, even Warlock is the next of perhaps several decks in these remaining months of Rostakhan's Rumble in the Year of the Raven. Thanks for watching our Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with our Tempo Storm news and Hearthstone content. See you next time.